we have been warned something bad is still here. At nighttime, it can be dark and sinister. Did you pack for two weeks? Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's just film everything. Nobody's doing this. Nobody's staying at a place for more than one night or two nights. We're living with this. Holy. Be careful what you ask for. Whoa. They will get your attention. Who's there? Hello. <laughs> Hi. Kevin, How's it going? <clears throat> Hello. Steph in Vegas. How are you this morning? Good, good. Good, good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for joining me to talk about your documentary, Sleepless Unrest. Okay. First of all, I'm a skeptic, you know. Yeah. So good. Good. <laughs> And, you know, I'm a man of science, you know, but I have an active imagination. And I made Very the cool. colossal mistake last night of watching your movie uh, uh -oh. at 11 o'clock at night, <laughs> all <laughs> alone. And here in Las Vegas, we're going through the worst drought, you know, uh, the West Coast has ever seen. And we oh. had thunder and lightning and a rainstorm came through. So I'm watching your documentary. Oh, whoa. I mean, I kept stopping it because every noise in this house was amplified, you know, and I haven't felt chills up my spine in so long. Uh, oh. Yeah, yes. it, it was, it freaked me <laughs> out. I mean, I kept stopping oh. it and I said, I'm not turning the lights on. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> no, but I did close every door in the house. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, I... so that's, that's a, that's a way to view them, view the film. Holy mackerel. Oh, geez. It, it, it creeped me out. And uh, that's intense. it's just amazing how just, you know, a door opening in your movie would just send chills up your spine, you know, something so simple like that. Uh, but overall, you know, this is the house that inspired The Conjuring, 300 years old in Rhode Island. I love that yeah. drone shot you have at the beginning oh. that just sets up everything because you feel like you're invited, you're along with you, and, and you feel like you're isolated in this house with you. So uh, it's, just, it's just an amazing setup at the very beginning of the film. So tell me about how uh, the new owners allowed you to, to visit them and and, you know, I counted, uh, I lost count at 10 days, how long you were there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, early, during, we were in the pandemic, uh, production was down, everything was at a halt, as you know, everybody was dealing with it. And Vera is like, hey, we gotta, we gotta we get on. Moving. We, gotta, we, gotta, we gotta keep doing stuff, uh, whatever we can. And we started locally, we were filming locally. Uh, and using all precautions, it was you and I, and we started going into locations filming by ourselves. And I was happy because he's so hard to get a hold of. He's always working. And I was like, I finally get my husband to do some fun adventures with. And then, I mean, we got a call. We were in, doing a case in Georgia and our good friends, Brian Murray, Rachel Stratton called us that they got invited to the Conjuring house because they became good friends with the Heinzens. And um, we were invited just to investigate for fun. But I told Hang Kendall, out. I said, listen, uh, I think if I'm behind the camera, I will feel a little less scared. <laughs> You know, and, and it feels like I have a purpose. So he said, you're crazy. We're like, how are you going to asked them to film and i said we just asked so we asked we call it hindsight we thought for sure their story was all locked up yeah and that and there was no way that we we're gonna be able to film and they were yeah. so welcoming so excited that we were interested because they saw the our previous film the house in between and they said uh i think you you'll be interested you in seeing like what happens place, yeah. in this house well they had a story to tell too you know but mm -hmm. it, it's funny because it's like the oldest sitcom uh plot device you know losing a bet to spend a night in a haunted house or get your inheritance you have to spend the night in a haunted house you know and right away you know i i dig the owners because they have ouija boards on their mantle you know above the, the fireplace i noticed that 
you had 12 cameras and one in every room, 4K. You guys were determined not to miss anything, huh? Yeah, so I mean, the, the setup was pretty extensive. The Heinzens have every room wired in the house and they gave us access to their DVR and all their footage while we were there. But we also set up DVRs, uh, a, a DVR system with um, with cameras with that had audio on it. So that was really good. That was kind of a new uh a new thing for us the audio is very helpful especially like trying to sync all the cameras up with our uh cinema cameras we shot the shot the um film with the black magic uh cinema cameras and you know we had gopros that we slept with you know if anything happened we jumped you know we just we were able to hit it and go and you know we it was just our iphones yeah even our because iphones sometimes yeah. cameras were down and we were outside just like, you know talking or something and it yeah. reaches whatever the quality was use. amazing i mean just the, the the 4k just really jumped at you it was such great quality in this and let's talk about some of the rooms because you know this house has got every room is unique starting with the basement and you know gosh kendall you're nuts you know <laughs> going down yeah. there, you're like i want to scare myself and i and you go down there at night i mean i was like what are you doing, dude? You know, <laughs> Me I too. literally was clutching a pillow. I was literally clutching a pillow. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah, you know, um, it was it was very, very intense. A lot of a lot of time spent um, filming and just, you know, uh, Vera and I doing production. And at the end of the night, uh, you know, uh, Brian Rochelle would go to sleep and, you know, we would we'd stay up and do our, our uh, data logging and all our media and everything and um, organizing for the next day. And I would, before I go to bed, I'd walk the house, make sure it's all closed up, all the lights are off, just make sure, you know, everything's good, kind of like a night watchman. And me, I just, I love getting scared. I mean, I love putting myself in situations that you know scare me well, you're it's truly like, curious yeah you're truly truly curious and you love this and he's very desensitized he's done over 500 locations he's been in so many locations filming behind camera just participating in in, in the filming of so many shows so he's not scared and he goes there by himself to to film uh, i mean i love this it guy. <laughs> it's 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 good it's fun for me i you know i i love that moment that you're talking about down in the basement you know because you kind of got what basement. I asked for. <laughs> yeah, going in the basement, but sticking yourself in like a well down there too, you know? <laughs> I've never heard of a birthing room, but you know, from a paranormal perspective, <laughs> that's got to be an active room. That's just like the, that creeped me out at the very beginning when you're looking in this room and there's a pentagram someone drew in there on the yeah. floor. It's like, what? Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, the house is laid out kind of interesting. You know, it's got a bunch of just strange areas, you know, and and for us, like, yeah, the investigation, it's kind of good because you can kind of go and feel out one room and then move on to the next. And we did that a lot. But that birthing room, yeah, that that's unique. I've only seen that in a few locations. And we walked in there with Corey and Jen, and that was the first time they had seen that. You know, they have a lot of investigators going through there, and that's off camera. So, well, you know, who knows what, what they're, they're doing, doing with that, you know, it's it, stuff their up. attic was sealed for a reason. And you guys were just so eager to <laughs> take that plank off and climb right up there, huh? You know, uh, Jen surprised us with that one. Uh, it was very, very interesting. We don't want to go too much into it, right? Because that's like part <laughs> yeah, of the, yeah, don't, the no film. But, <laughs> but uh, you know, it, it was just it, it was complete surprise, you know. And of course, you have that kind of opportunity to go and, you know, do something that's been untouched in the conjuring home you're gonna oh, you're I, you know and i love the conjuring movies they're just like my absolute favorite and for you to too. find yeah. an actual house to spend time in there to do an investigation like that this has got a built-in audience you know so this is it's this is such a fascinating subject and and uh, i think you guys just really turned in a great thriller you really did it's just oh, it's, oh thank really you impressive. yeah we wanted people to feel like they were coming with, with us. us yeah yeah. And that was from the very first, at the very beginning, you know, getting out of the car and going in there. I'm like, I kept saying, where do I sleep? <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Yeah. Well, yeah, congratulations, I mean, man. What a great thriller. Uh, and, uh, you know, I can't wait to see what you guys do next because uh, I'm, I'm so, fr I freak out in the daytime thinking about this thing. Oh, oh man. <laughs> we it took a while it. for us to get over the, the emotions. Right, well, yeah. it, was, it was hard. It was yeah. intense. Let's, let's 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 forget all about that and come to Las Vegas and we'll go have a drink and a show or something. We'll just we'll relax, okay? Yeah. I love it. <laughs> let's do it. Thanks a lot. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you.